Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is 2 to the power of 2x plus x, this is equal to 260. So what is the value of x given that x is not equal to 0? So let's prevent the solution from here. We have 2 to the power of 2x plus x, this is equal to 260. So the first step to do here, let's take x on the right hand side so that we have 2 to the power of 2x. This is equal to 260 subtract x. Now, 2 to the power of 2x, this can be expressed as 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power of x. This is equal to 260 minus x. So here we have 2 squared, this is 4, so we have 4 to the power of x. This is equal to 260 minus x. The next step is to divide both signs by 4 to the power of x. And here we have 4 to the power of x. So let's simplify here. So this is 1 is equal to 260 minus x divided by 4 to the power of x. So we can write this equation as 260 minus x over 4 to the power of x. This is equal to 1. The next step is that we can write this equation here as 260 minus x times 1 over 4 to the power of x. This is equal to 1. So we find that 1 over 4 to the power of x, this is in the form of 1 over a to the power of n, which we can express as a to the power of minus n. So let's apply this property from here. So that now here we have 260 minus x multiplying by 4 to the power of minus x. This is equal to 1. The next step from here, we have 4 to the power minus x. The coefficient here is 260 minus x. So we have an element of minus x here, as we have within this power here minus x. So let's make the coefficient here the same as the power here. To do that, we multiply both signs by 4 raised to the power of 260. So we have 260 minus x multiplying by 4 raised to the power of 260 multiplying by 4 to the power of minus x. This is equal to 1 times 4 to the power of 2. Now we have 260 minus x multiplying by 4 raised to the power of minus x. So you can see that the coefficient here is 260 minus x. So you can see minus x here is the same as the power minus x here. So let's make this all coefficient the same as the power. To do that, we introduce we introduce 4 raised to the power of 260. So we have 260 minus x multiplying by 4 to the power of 260 multiplying by 4 to the power of minus x. This is equal to 1 times 4 to the power of 260. So we introduce 4 to the power of 260 on both sides. The next step is that 4 to the power of 60 times 4 to the power of minus x. The bases are common here. This is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m. So 4 to the power of 260 times 4 to the power of minus x. This is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m which you can express as a to the power of n plus m. Applying this exponent property, then here we have 260 minus x multiplied by 4 raised to the power of 260 plus minus x, which is minus x. This is equal to 1 times 4 to the power of 260. This is 4 to the power of 260. Now, the next step from here, Let's introduce the exponent property such that exponent e raised to the power of natural log of a, this is the same thing as a. So this implies that 
exponent e raised to the power of natural log of 4. This is the same thing as 4. So we can substitute where we have this 4 with exponent e raised to the power of natural log of 4. So that we have 260 subtract x multiplied by exponent e raised to the power of 260 minus x multiplied by ln of 4. This is equal to 4 raised to the power of 260. The next step from here, we have the power here, 260 minus x multiplied by ln of 4. The coefficient here is 260 minus x. So the next step is to multiply both signs here by ln of 4. So we have 260 minus x multiplied by ln of 4. Then multiplying by exponent e raised to the power of 260 minus x multiplying by ln of 4. This is equal to, we have ln of 4 times 4 to the power of 260. So we introduce this ln of 4 on both sides. The next step from here, let's introduce the lambent. This is the lambent W function, the lambent W function that states that the W function of A multiplied by exponent A raised to the power of A, this is the same thing as A. So for instance, if you have the W function of 4 multiplied by exponent E raised to the power of 4, this is the same thing as 4. So let's introduce the W function on both sides. So that we have the W function of 260 minus x multiplied by ln of 4 times e raised to the power of 260 minus x multiplied by ln of 4. Cross the parentheses here. This is equal to the W function of ln of 4 times 4 raised to the power of 2. 160. Now, from this property here, the W function of A multiplied by exponent E raised to the power of A, this is the same thing as A. So, this particular part here, this is the same thing as A, and also here we have the same thing as A. So, on the left hand side, we have 260 minus X multiplying by ln of 4, this is equal to the W function of ln of 4 times 4 raised to the power of 260. Cross the parentheses from here. So on the right hand side, we have the W function of ln of 4 multiplying by 4 raised to the power of 260. Now, we can express 4 to the power of 260, that is 4 to the power of 260. This is the same thing as 4 to the power of 4 times 4 raised to the power of 256. So if you see 4 to the power of 4 times 4 to the power of 256, this is the same thing as 4 to the power of 260. So let's substitute with this. So we have the W function of ln of 4 times 4 raised to the power of 4, then times 4 raised to the power of 256. The next step is that 4 to the power of 4, this is the same thing as 256. So let's substitute this 256 here, so that we have the W function of ln of 4 times 256, multiplied by 4 raised to the power of 256. The next step is start from here. We can introduce the exponent e to the power of natural log of a. This is the same thing as a. So we can express this 4 in terms of the exponent. So e raised to the power of ln of 4, this is equal to 4. Let's substitute this here so that we have the W function of ln of 4 multiplying by 256, then multiplying by exponent e 
raised to the power of ln of 4 multiplying by 256. So from the lambent w function, that is the w function of a multiplying by exponent e to the power of a, this is the same thing as a. Applying this property here, we find that ln of 4 multiplying by 256, this is the same thing as a, and also this is this part is the same thing as a. So, so on the right hand side, that is on the right hand side, we have ln of 4 times 256. And on the left hand side, we have 260. This is what we have on the left hand side. 260 minus x times ln of 4. So we have 260 minus x multiplying by ln of 4. So from here, we have 260 minus x multiplying by ln of 4. This is equal to ln of 4. We have 256. So ln of 4 here, we can simplify. So that now we have 260 minus x. This is equal to 256. So to solve for x here, we can take 260 on the right hand side so that we have minus x. This is equal to 256 minus 260. So this implies that here minus x, this is equal to 256 minus 260. This is minus 4. So let's divide both signs by minus so that now we have the value of x equal to 4. So this is the value of x for this algebra problem. The next step from here is to verify that this value of x satisfies the equation. Now let's verify that the value of x which is equal to 4 satisfies the equation. Now if you recall, we have that 2 to the power of 2x plus x. This is supposed to give us a value of 260. Now, we can express 2 to the power of 2x here as 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power of x plus x. This should give us a value of 260. So, 2 to the power of 2, this is 4. Raised to the power of x plus x, this should give us a value of 260. So, let's substitute the value of x here. So, we have 4 to the power of 4 plus 4, this should give us a value of 260. So 4 to the power of 4, this is 256, then plus 4, this is equal to 260. 256 plus 4, this is 260, which is equal to 260. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that the value of x, which is 4, satisfies the equation. So can you follow the steps? Like this video and subscribe. Like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.